Well, he was certainly an icon and one of the most influential men in the world of comedy. Tonight, fans and fellow comics mourning the loss of Gary Shandling. That was a theme from Gary's show, a groundbreaking comedy that made fun of all those cheesy sitcoms of the 80s and the early 90s. Well, tonight, everyone from Amy Schumer to Jimmy Kimmel to Seth MacFarlane have been tweeting about the impact that Shandling had on their careers. And for good reason, he really changed television. You are already so much better than last night's audience. Hey now. You'll have to excuse Hank. His heart's in the right place, but he keeps his brain in a box at home. <laughs> this reminds me of the time Angela Lansbury was on. Well, his faux talk show, The uh, Larry Sanders Show, paved the way for shows like Curb Your Enthusiasm and uh, 30 Rock. It also helped turn HBO into what it really is today. The Larry Sanders Show won three Emmys, was nominated for 50 others, and it's on TV Guide's list of the 50 greatest shows of all time. As we mentioned, Shanling's fellow celebs are paying tribute tonight. We spoke to Howard Stern just a few hours ago. I, I love Gary Shanley. Very, very gracious guy, uh, generous, and uh, again, a comedy icon and genius. And he was very good to me. He uh, came through for me uh, many years ago. I needed him as a first guest on my E! interview show. I just started there, and he accepted. And then I got to be on perhaps the greatest television show of all time, The Larry Sanders Show. I, uh, I went on with him and did a little scene, and it was great. I'm so glad I did it, and I will miss him greatly. In recent years, Shanling has been in movies like Iron Man 2 and the upcoming Captain America movie. Shanling died suddenly today at his home in Los Angeles. Doctors believe it was a heart attack that killed him. He was 66 years old.